Good morning, Counter-Strike watchers. This is Pants for Hire, reporting live from Game Arena, Columbus, Ohio. And today, we have something very exciting, very interesting, something that I have yet to witness. Uh, a Counter-Strike LAN tournament. In 2023, we have 12 teams competing for the top two spots. First place walking away with $1,000 by the end of the weekend. Second place with 500 Everybody else, big fat goose egg. But we're all here for a good time. We're all here to have a lot of fun. We're all here to see some high-level CS. Uh, we got teams ranging from all skill levels. Uh, some have informed us they might be in a little over their heads, but again, they're here to have a good time. And, you know, when else are you going to get the opportunity to play in a 60-plus player tournament? Um... Sounds like we're getting the festivities started here shortly uh, with, you know, the first match. But for now, you got my beautiful face on the screen. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, it's uh, Thinkers versus MCS. That means that we are currently starting with the first set of pools. Uh... These teams are respectively seeded second and third, MCS being the short favorites. And as you can see, Matt Picks wound up giving us Ancient. So, yeah. Going to be a pretty fun watch. I do like seeing some Ancient action. We all know that that B site can be real turmoil. And... You know, those rare slow plays to A. Right now we're getting the knife round started. See who gets to pick which side. Action coming from T19. Leading the charge. I need to see some 1-1-2 one, one, combos in here. And, ooh, going with the two. And yeah, the T side is swarming the instant win. That's a, uh, yeah. So that's how we're kicking it off. A solid, convincing knife round, but, you know, what does that mean in the grand scheme of things? They win the coin toss, but will they be able to carry their skill into the actual gameplay? We shall see. Matt's getting us started with, oop, we're playing connector. Nice shots coming from Matt, really good. Just a couple of headshots from him and Snuffafu. T side is get, or CT side is getting whittled down and we have just completely swarmed onto B site. Win with the plant, denying even coming through the smoke. And one kill for the CT side, gets killed through the smoke. Goodbye with a kill on the board. Pretty convincing round from CT side, or T side. Oh, okay, good, good. Playing up to B yet again, all we got three AKs, two Mac 11s, and ooh, CT side is swarming onto Ogura, who's able to clear three of them out with one Mac 11. Xeon now has just a little bit of a gun advantage, but obviously not going to be able to do anything against the remaining T side players. Oh, excellent pistols from Anarchy. Gonna need to try and keep this up. Gets destroyed by AK fire from two sides. Probably just had a hard time figuring out which target to look at and easily overwhelmed. Last interaction coming from mid. Kill from Snuffafu. Looking pretty solid here in the second round. MCS. The economy is strong with them. They got full buys going on.
Okay, now it looks like another B play. We're getting a lineup from Ogura, who is now carrying on with Goodbye into the A split. But yeah, T side looks like they are just getting started and trying to get something going at B. Little pokes into mid from Ogura and Goodbye. CT is slowly playing, waiting for action. They're definitely playing the right side. Nobody is uh, misplaced. There's not an over-reliance on a denial right now. T's are still feeling this one out. Looks like there could be an abandoned coming from any point. Yeah, and there we go. The flash into B site. The confusion is at an all-time high for the thinkers, but the quick and easy kills on these MCS players gives them a little bit of advantage. Right now, the 3v2 is getting started, but Snuffafu and Goodbye seem to be have no struggle getting into A site. Uh, nice nades coming in, the denial on Anarchy. Going to have to regroup with his teammates to try and find a reasonable time to push in. That's probably the most important kill that we've seen all around. Snuffafu with the easy denial. Now, Goodbye has to keep it down. As both players are going to be coming in from this angle. And Anarchy is able to get them back on top. We are now at the 1v1. Zeon and Snuffafu. Snuffafu has been doing a great job for these first two rounds. And Zeon is just going to have to get this defuse. If he had stuck the defuse... Oh, and Snuffafu just really good play. Coming in from this guy. Increable. That, could, that really looked like it could have been a thinker's round, but the advantage was constantly shifting. Very interesting to see just how well MCS Gaming was able to hold that down. But, I don't know, the, um, the slow play, the lack of confidence to initially engage with the sites, it was, uh, it really felt like thinkers had that one. Bones is doing some mid damage. I mean, a kill with a Mac 11 at this point in the game. Pretty good from that range. And the CT side is falling apart. Falling apart super fast. Double kill from Bones to put him back in contention for MVP on their side. Within spitting distance of Snuffafu. We now have Ops coming in from the CT side. Anarchy playing the glass cannon build, but you know, when you gotta deal with AK headshots, it's not really too much of a concern. The denial coming in from CT side, refusing to let T bleed into mid. Ooh, early frag from Xeon. Getting just that extra bit of advantage and another frag from Xeon. Good play from the uh, <laughs> second frag leader on CT side. Oh, Wallbang's coming in. Are you the casters? Yeah, I'm the caster. Okay. Good. Thank Are you. Are you old enough to drink these? Yes. Okay. You have another buddy in here? This. There you go. Appreciate it. This is definitely the strongest that thinkers have looked. Bones getting the player count whittled a little bit, one down, but unfortunately for thinkers, MCS has now activated site play mode, and fortunately for thinkers, they don't have too much to do. Bones is in on 19 HP. Laura uh, <laughs> could have sneezed on him for that kill. And they are on the board. Fortunately for MCS, they did not have to consider uh, eco playing. They were pretty strong in the economy for the past couple of rounds, and that's just you love to see a full buy after a loss.
Anarchy still can't even afford a helmet for his op. Getting some kills in from mid, coming in from Thinker side. Early establishing lead. MCS is going to have to pick it up. And Bones gets dinked from mid. Going to have to retreat into the smoke back to B side. Going to try and do a flank, but this is a pretty long-winded flank and it might not be worth the risk. However, we are already planted on A site and Snuffafoo has looked so good. Probably would have gotten the double kill if he wasn't flashed. I'm impressed to see the first one go through. Matt got MCS Gaming's chances of winning this round on his shoulders. And with the smoke down on the bomb, that would have been a lot to ask for. Thinker's now sitting on two in a row, looking like they are definitely back in this game. Do they just need to wake up? Oh. It's early in the morning here. Uh, well, early in the morning for your average gamer. I'm surprised I was able to get here at 10.30 a.m. And here we are, noon. These players are hopefully warmed up. Two to four, round seven. Let's get it on. Nade's coming into mid. It's like a fireworks show every single round. Anarchy with the overkill on the AWP, taking down Goodbye. Two other players fall, Ogre and Matt. The only real disadvantage that Thinkers is sitting on is TI9 being uh, a little low on HP. But Snuffafu and Bones completely separated. I think that they are just looking to save, potentially. Or Snuffafu gets an entry frag. Retreats back into the site entrance. Trying to sneak back into mid. We could have an interaction from him and Zeon. Zeon is definitely got the advantage here, but doesn't push through. T-Side is going to be meeting at mid for oh, heading back into side room. Stuffafu could be at the advantage here. Had the crosshair placement on point. That's that game sense, that knowledge. Taken down immediately by T19. Bones trying to get for the wall bang. Almost looking pretty clean there. Takes down with the entry frag. It's a 1v2, very doable. Fake plant coming in. Anarchy has the advantage here. Oh, not trusting the wall bang. I couldn't tell you if that's bangable. It's stone, so it typically isn't, but. The takedown, it's a 1v1, op versus AK at mid-range. This is definitely Bones' round to lose. Can he secure it? That was incredible. And you could hear the reaction from the teams in this venue. That was a real pop-off. <laughs> kind of crazy to hear something like that live, but we love it. And yeah, uh, MCS kind of, kind of a little on the back foot for that whole round was able to really piece it together after the two early losses or the yeah the early deaths pretty good stuff coming in from both teams slow play occurring we have so many players through the smoke going from mid to B, and if that thing were to just dissipate right now, all hell would break loose. T-Side's kind of trying to find their footing. We got two pushing into mid, entry frag coming in from Snuffafu. Again, definitely looking like one of the power players on this MCS gaming team. Pause, waiting for the entries. Able to clear down one, take the HP off of another. Ogura, meaning Bones and Matt in the waiting room. Looking for the wall bangs, Lordo Pies. Confirming on the kill, bomb is planted. Goodbye has the AWP positioned on site. 
Just perfect crosshair placement. Didn't even need to think about it. We got a smoke. Smoke versus off for a defuse. I kind of like it. What's good by going to have to do here? Doesn't have enough time. Unfortunate. But really good for Anarchy. Oh, gets killed from behind and steals the AWP. Oh my god. So even though MCS lost that one, that's definitely a win in their book for other reasons. But, you know, T-side, ancient AWP. That's a, uh, you know, all these short-range encounters. There's not really too many places to make the, the distance kind of work. Let's hope he doesn't regret this decision. This is a perfect angle to hold with the AWP, but maybe with the added knowledge that they have it, thinkers are playing a little slow. They're not playing as aggressive as they need to. And just like that, two already taken down by Lord Opies. Really been coming around in the last couple of rounds. Like another one. Taking down to three members of thinkers, or of MCS Gaming. And yeah, four. Four kills for Lord Opies, four rounds for thinkers. We're sitting at round 10, three rounds away from the halftime. And if, uh, if you thought that MCS Gaming was looking like the de facto winners at the beginning of this half, then shows what you know. Things are not down and out. They have momentum coming behind them. They are looking strong. And I mean, this is the first time I think I've really seen a eco round from MCS Gaming. Tex, Glocks, Deagles. Sometimes it's all you got. Oh, the slow play on A. <laughs> Bones is just completely alone. Literally serving as a sacrificial lamb, trying to give some sort of information denial, but I mean, three already dead on A site. It's not much of a wonder where everybody was piling in. Yeah, Bowen's gonna have to try and do something, maybe just pick up a gun and run out of there, but the angles are held. Crosshair placement was not there, and we are sitting on five all. Thinkers have crawled their way back from obscurity <laughs> and are looking like a, a damn good team early action coming in on the B side Pretty much every CT is ready for a B play. And two T's trying to go in through mid. We've whittled down thinkers to only two players. Looks like the T's are committing onto a B play. Their HP is super low. Pause taking down the first kill for thinkers this round. And the slowly, slowly pushing into B, maybe possibly rotating off of it, going to... No, they are dedicated to the B push. I think they gave up enough time. That Anarchy is thinking the slow A play could be a thing. He's going to hear that plant sound. And no, he made a mistake. Unless the... Yep, yeah, no. Uh, looks like we might be saving here. The knife is out. The inspect animations are playing. Yeah, we are saving this one. Next round being the last... We already know that MCS is going to be up 6-2-5. No way that Anarchy is coming back from this one. Oh, getting surrounded and flank. Okay, one down. Couldn't take the second, but I guess the denial of life is important enough. The economy on thinker side is going to be so important this round. Seeing Lord Opie is only going in with a Desert Eagle, only one player with a rifle, two players with helmets. It's uh, it's dire. Meanwhile, utility on pretty much every player on MCS besides Snuffafu. Bone sitting on a couple extra money. It's a 
a little bit of a story of just how last round went. Xeon getting a little bit of damage going in. Definitely what you want to see with the MP9. Lord of Pies definitely going to want to stay alive. One of the top fraggers on the Stinker's side. It's been looking very good. Bones with the kill. Kind of one of these backside plays that Anarchy couldn't have really anticipated him to be there. Lord of Pies coming in slowly with the 5-7. Could make a lot happen here. Isn't Bones with the ah oh, the just the the rhythm of who was peeking what angle did not play out well for Lord of Pies there. Bones was just about ready to get flanked and didn't happen. And MCS getting taken out or thinkers getting taken out. MCS up seven to five. Pretty uh pretty convincing play from both teams. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good. We're getting started. A lot of armor on the CT side. Uh, dualies for Ogura. Definitely going to be... Looking like the cowboy that he is. I don't know. <laughs> and Anarchy opting to be the utility guy on T-side. T-side swarming in. Thinkers with a couple of entry frags. Two remaining, but with the bomb advantage. Oh, just gets completely deleted by Snuffafu there. And pause is rage approaching. Looking for the kill. Gets it. Takes Bones down. Ooh. Wow, excellent walking USPS headshot. And Snuffafu able to close it out. Again, Snuffafu really feels like the, the leader of this team. Ogura, Matt, and Goodbye all look towards Snuffafu and Bones with reverence and respect for their ability to... Uh, operate under pressure. It's crazy when your team's winning, but only uh, two people have a a over one KD. See, I had to say over one because Goodbye does have a positive with one. Thinker is a slow playing. Bones got the confirmation. Obviously, also heard the gunshot. So, and just completely melts them all with the MP9. Or MP7. Yeah, that was just a quick and easy round from NCS. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's BM if I've ever seen it. <laughs> How good are we doing? Well, I can just kill a teammate and I don't really care. Yeah, these, uh, these two rounds have both looked pretty convincing. The first one, you know, pistol rounds, it's like... You can't really take the ending for the end result. It's all about what happened during it. But uh, that last round just looks super one-sided. And again, it's eco. MCS waiting for the play. It's definitely going to be B. They're totally boxed in. Ogura taking down Lord Opies and giving MCS that early lead. And again, another kill, another denial for potential entry. T19 getting things going for Thinkers. Bombs going down, looking for wall bangs, not finding them. T19 was one shot and that one shot was taken. Now we only got pause left. Pause sitting on a frag and sitting on nothing right now. MCS sitting three away from the first win of the day. First streamed win of the day. Win. 
This is pool play. Uh, first to one for every single one of these. Each pool has six teams in it, and they're all playing against each other. So everybody's playing five matches today. Not everything's going to be streamed, but the ones that are, you know, I'll be here for you. They mowed long, man. Yeah, they mowed long. Oh. Thinkers is slow, slow, slow playing. They did a full buy, and the intent to commit is definitely there, but they are going to have to get something going. It would definitely be in their benefit to invest in A if they knew, but it's so hard to know. Bones with the early frag. Xeon with the return fire. I think they're sitting on the health deficit. Going to have to work their way up the ladder, and... Ogre does not see Xeon through the smoke. Able to safely live yet another day. Thinker is probably going to be pushing into B site sometime soon. The nades come in. Pause gets deleted, as well as most of the other Thinker's players. Now Xeon is going to have to try and pick up the pieces. This might be the most important round of Xeon's career. Peek out, 16 seconds remaining. Gonna have to swing out, gets the kill. Didn't, ah. Oh. Little frustrating to see a round end like that. Heard the, the ammo clicks. MCS Gaming has forced thinkers into a sour spot. It's a pistol buy round, Texan Deagles, a little util, saving a couple of dollars for the next round if push comes to shove, but that's gonna be a huge hill to climb. MCS has the benefit of CT side, having the easier, more reliable defense. They are completely swarming in onto B site. If they had actual guns, I think that might've been more uh, convincing. They got on. They really did get on with like no restraint, but once they were on, it was just, they couldn't do anything. That was just a, a complete meltdown, and MCS is probably feeling pretty confident about this potential result. The dichotomy of Bones and Snuffafu, it's like, damn. Just some real killers. B is... Open for business, but Ogura gets the kill on Connector, and yet another just Thinkers is getting overwhelmed. Yeah. MCS taking the first match of the day on stream and uh, doing it relatively convincingly. Really good work from MCS. A fun match was played. I liked it. Uh, I liked the first half a little more, considering I don't think we saw a single win from Thinkers in the second half. But uh, hey, at least MCS is uh, making it speedy. <laughs> Some speed run strats going on in there. Oh. We do have more matches coming at you soon. Uh, been informed that you know we're we're trying to we're we're picking apart which one to go for, who's ready, who's not already in a match. It's all very important stuff. We will, uh, we will be taking a production break momentarily. We'll be right back to you with more Counter-Strike gameplay.